What's up guys? This is the time of year where folks are getting their campers ready to go back on the road. So I will be doing a, uh, a lot of wheel and brake services, bearings, things like that. People wanna make sure they're safe. That is a major failure, a very common service item on an RV, um, pull behind, tag along travel trailer, whatever you want to call it, is the bearings. So before I head out to uh, Shaw Air Force Base, because that's where this service is going to be at this morning, I always like to check to make sure I have all of my things because after the beginning of the season, I see much less of these jobs. So sometimes I take some of the stuff off of the truck. So this is what I use. This is my setup. This is a kit that I got a while ago off the Mac Tools truck. This is probably a year or so old. And uh, what came in the kit is this bearing race and seal driver set that you see here. So yes, this is the kit that I use to install the seals and to uh, to drive out the races. If the if the races are bad, I'll go ahead and drive them out with these. This is uh, aluminum. Here are the part numbers. All right. This has been a really good kit. I love this. I see that uh, Harbor Freight has something like it in the Icon brand. I use this one and a half inch socket for the axle nuts. Uh, it is snap on and it's starting to mushroom out on the end. I'll use it a little more and it gets real bad to where it's falling off the anvil. I'll just warranty this out again. I have warrantied this out before for the same reason. Uh, when the uh, the anvil, the receiver for the anvil gets wore out. All right. So this came in that kit. Obviously this didn't, this didn't, and the snap-on wrench didn't. But what we got in the kit was this, uh, this set, this punch set, which is made in the USA, and which is good for knocking out that, uh, that rear seal. Um, yeah, I got some wood on the truck, so that's good. And then this, the seal, the seal puller, knocking out the rear, that that the uh, the race. That, that that's you could use that if you didn't have this. So this is just a seal puller. This is just to pull that seal, the rear seal. It, they're gonna get thrown away. You're not supposed to reuse seals. And then I keep the half inch ratchet to go along with the socket. So I got, and then I have a, um, a snap on brake spoon because once you do the bearings, you need to be doing a brake inspection, you're right there. And if anything needs to be adjusted, you'll need your brake spoon to adjust it. This happens to be a snap on one, but it's just a brake spoon. You, you can use any one you want. They come in different styles. Like the uh, the profiles are different, so uh, you, you may need a different one depending on what you work on. All right, and then of course the anti vive hammer. This is a this is a Mac one. It is the same as the proto. The proto ones are the same. Um, it's been holding up good. I don't have a problem with it. I'll keep using it. And this is made by Lau. This is a, a easy way to uh, pack the bearings. Let's lift this up, put the bearings in there, and then squeeze down and it forces the grease through the bearings, forces the old grease out. I keep a bunch of rags, wipe that off, put it back in, and uh, make sure my all the old grease is out. And, I'm full of new grease. Then I keep a whole bucket of this, like a uh, Lucas Red and Tacky, that uh, I keep in the truck 
just in case I run out. All right. And of course, a uh, magnetic tray for the lug nuts. And on the inside of the truck, you know, I keep in that wrench bag, the Weiss Pro wrench bag that we will be giving away um, probably next week or so. You know, we'll give some people a little more time, some of the subscribers to watch the videos so they can get on. Obviously, uh, just like the, the last giveaway, you have to be a subscriber in order to uh, in order to qualify for that. So, you know, if I can verify that you are a subscriber, then uh, I'll be happy to send you the bag. If I can't verify that you're a subscriber, because it's some kind of way that you can hide the fact that you're subscribed. Well, I mean, if I can't verify that you're a subscriber, then obviously I will pick someone who I can verify, right? That's, that's just what it is. Otherwise I couldn't tell the difference between a subscriber and a non-subscriber. So make sure if you're wanting to win that bag that you have your settings as to where I can tell uh, if you are subscribed to the channel or not. But yeah, this is the, the, um, the bearing set, guys. This is my setup for doing um, bearings, whether I'm replacing them or repacking them. And uh, these are the tools that I use. And when we get out there and start doing it, I will do another video of the actual uh, process for anybody who wants to see that. I don't think I've, a long time ago, I might've done one while I was at Camping World, while I was a technician working for Camping World a couple years ago, but um, I hadn't done one recently. So I will show you that because it is a common repair that uh, you guys can do on your RVs. So it, it'll be it'll be a good little video. So yeah, this is these are, these are the basic tools. This is what I use to do it. So a little bearing race and seal driver set, some punches, brake spoon, seal puller, a hammer, a ratchet, and a one and a half inch socket along with this nice little Lyle um, bearing packer. Uh, they call it the the handy packer. Made in the USA, guys. And uh, magnetic tray. This one happens to be a blue point. One of my favorites. This thing's been around for a while. And I also have like a little puller, but uh, I don't normally need that. I could use the, uh, I can use these to get those seals out. If not, I'll just take a punch and get that rear seal out. If, if I'm having problems with it, I'll just tap it out with a punch. If this is, cause sometimes this, because it's so thin, I wish they made it like a little, like about twice as thick to give it more surface area. It'll punch through the uh, seals. So um, just puts a hole in it sometimes. So it's really cheap seals, they're, they're made very cheaply and it just punches through those. But the good ones that are really sturdy, it'll, it'll bring those out. You can also use a claw hammer. Um, you can uh, sit that hub down and use a claw hammer, uh, which I keep as well in this box. Claw hammer will do the trick too, um, especially if you have two hammers. If you if you can't pull it hard and fast, then you can just claw your hammer in that seal and hit it with another hammer to uh, pull that rear seal out of that hub. That's what we got, guys. I'm gonna get at it. It's uh. It's almost nine o'clock, so it's time for me to get on the road and start my day. And uh, obviously, you know, you gotta have a jack. I, I I I keep a jack and jack stands when I'm doing this, doing all four wheels. I jack up one side. I'll show you when I do the video. So also a jack, obviously, uh, a nice little floor jack and some jack stands um, because the wheels are coming off. In that case. You're gonna also need uh, some sockets to take the lug nuts off. You know, some of the stuff I just, you know, it just goes without saying, you have to take the wheel off in order to uh, change your bearing. These are just the tools for doing the actual job. I assume you got an impact gun or a breaker bar for removing the wheels and tires, a jack and, and things like that. So we're gonna get at it guys. Catch you later, RV Tech Pro out.